It's now even better and more exciting to watch the Super Bowl. Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift's Over the Top, Steamy Love Show at the Super Bowl is what made everything possible. This is the point where they might just call it a very public honeymoon. I still can't say that we're not having fun here. People who like Taylor Swift and people who follow the NFL can't breathe because of the couple. In 48 different ways, those dance moves, hugs, kisses, the loving embrace, and everything else made us feel like we were single. Forget about the crazy after party, I won't even talk about it. Please allow me to start by saying that let's start at the beginning before we talk about the famous after party. This is something that Taylor is known to say. As soon as she stepped foot on NFL property though, she broke every record there was. The singer made a spectacular appearance, just like Taylor Swift did. As soon as she walked in, she had full power over the crowd. The camera from the National Football League wouldn't leave her alone. Going so far as to say that her face was splashed more than the game that was going on on the ground is something I would think about. Why not have a National Football League? We don't care. Please keep sending us good things. However, the fact that she barely made it in time is what makes her look even more amazing. There were times when we would have had to get through this Super Bowl without Taylor. Why is that? Because her era's tour will happen at the same time as the dates. It is truly amazing that Queen Swift has been able to organize all of this busy travel while also playing on her era's tour. The Super Bowl and the dates of her era's tour in Tokyo almost happened at the same time, which was not good. From February 7th to February 10th, she was in Tokyo on tour. Because of this, she would have had to take a flight right away to Las Vegas in order to get to the game on time. That meant she would have had to take a plane back to Melbourne to finish the last part of her era tour, which ran from February 16th to 26th. Not many people would have been very upset if Taylor hadn't been able to make it to the Super Bowl for this reason. Because the problem was so important, even the Japanese embassy had to make a formal statement about it. This helped ease some of people's worries. The statement said, Despite the 12-hour flight and the 17-hour time difference, the embassy can confidently speak this meant that Taylor might be able to make it to the game. It seems likely that she will get to Las Vegas without any problems before the Super Bowl starts if she leaves Tokyo in the evening after her show. People say that love wins in the end. Then she was, killing it like she always does. Taylor made news in so many ways that we can't even keep track of them all. She got to the event early with Blake Lively and Ice Spice, two famous friends. She was a clear NFL's girl from head to toe. The Chiefs-themed bomber jacket she wore by wear by Aaron Andrews was perfect. It had the team logo in the year 1960 on it, which is when the Chiefs were formed. She also dressed like a pro by wearing a necklace made just for her called the 87 Varsity Pendant. Who among us would want to miss the chance to see something so very beautiful? No question about it, not Travis. Someone beat him the same way they beat everyone else. When everything is said and done, it's not often that your famous girlfriend comes all the way from far away to join you in your win. The very definition of love. Also, Taylor Swift wasn't just a fan of the exciting game between the Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49 ears, she was a tornado of feelings and excitement about the game. At any point during the game, Swift's emotions could be seen by everyone, she was living every moment she stated, from the tension that made her teeth clench during tight spots to the joy that she felt after every Chiefs breakthrough. Swift was right there to cheer on the Chiefs when they needed a boost. His excitement was contagious. Finally, when the Chiefs scored the touchdown that won the game, making the score 2-5, double two, Taylor was so happy that she and the crew in the suite broke out into a wild party. There were no limits to her happiness, you should think about the fact that this is just the outline of the bigger picture. These feelings were just the start of the emotional fight the couple planned to have with everyone about their relationship. After the prize was given, the real magic happened on the field right away. There was a sweet hug and kiss between Swift and her boyfriend Travis Kelsey at that moment, which added a romantic touch to the win. Travis only wanted a sweaty, never-ending hug after the hard game. What a great treat! In addition, did you know that Taylor is often called Travis Lucky Charm? You can see why the National Football League would give her this title. The Chiefs have been lucky with this turn of events. Since she started dating Travis, she has been to 13 Chiefs games. The Chiefs have won 10 of those 13 games. Don't you think Taylor is a very lucky person? What everyone was really interested in though was Taylor's number 13 conspiracy idea. It was a bigger and more important reason. It was the finishing nail in the coffin when the chief won, which made things more stable. For those who have no idea what's going on, hold on. It's not a secret that Taylor's lucky number is 13. After the other times the number 13 showed up, it happened again. 
When the score reached 13, the game started to go in favor of the boss. It's interesting to note that Patrick Mahomes' touchdown pass to wide receiver Marquez Vald scantling went through players wearing the numbers 15 and 11, which means that the average was, you got it, 13. Taylor even took her own private jet from Tokyo to Los Angeles, and the trip took exactly 13 hours. It's impressive that she made it to 13 Chiefs games this season, including the Super Bowl. Even though I don't believe in superstitions, I think this is way too much of a chance. For a moment, it makes all of us wonder if the scientists and number experts are completely right about what they said would happen. On the other hand, let's not blame Taylor for all of her good luck. After putting in a lot of work to win, Travis even got in front of his teacher and was so mean that it was unheard of. He made a lot of NFL fans hate him. But let's give him a break, shall we? There are times when we are all weak, don't you think? He was missing only Taylor, you guys. Instead of putting her in the VIP bedroom, he should have held her in his arms, and as soon as he got her where he wanted her to be, he seemed to calm down. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how Travis went from being very angry to being very in love. What does it look like? Do you think that Travis's prize for winning another game was just a kiss? That wasn't real, it was just a form of pre-play. The couple was seen dancing and moving in a romantic way to Taylor Swift's music all night at the after party. Someone even found a video of Travis lip-syncing to Taylor Swift's songs. What gives us the right to forget the famous you belong with me moment? Travis makes sure that his woman can't be taken by anyone else. He then pointed at her and, to be honest, lip-synced the song you belong with me this happened in the middle of the dance floor, where a lot of people were watching the show. The work itself, though, is what matters, right? She also got red lips near her roots. In the end, she's just a normal girl who loves romance. It looked like she was feeling a mix of love and awe as she danced and pointed right at Beau. When asked about what happened, Taylor is said to have said, that was the most romantic thing that's ever happened to me. This information comes from inside the business. Isn't that how all of Swifty's stories come to life? So what do you think about this? How long will they keep up this love show before they finally make the big reveal? How fancy will the proposal be if the pre-proposal is so fancy that it blows everyone away? Could you think of something creative to say? Please leave your answer in the area below. If you want to stay up to date on the latest celebrity news, make sure you subscribe to my feed.